Ho oh, tip, I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist. Back at it again, here for you. Touching bases, outside and beyond. Out here in Hawaii, just touching bases, what you're seeing, what's going on. Just got out the gym. Maybe my uh, mic is sounding, sounding a little muffled, but I'm going to take it out here and kind of get some more exposure here. Just sitting in the park, enjoying this beautiful sunshine. I wanted to just a little uh, touch base with you. This is episode 42, or 41, 41, episode 41. We're going to talk about, uh, let's talk fitness a little bit. Let's talk fitness and health. So just coming from the gym, 24-hour fitness. <laughs> Some cases, the worst gym at all the gyms, franchises out there. Once upon a time, used to be the joint. <laughs> used to be the shit, as they used to say. Uh, I do got a little history with 24-hour fitness. Um, once upon a time, prior, early 90s introduced to the 24-hour fitness our late 90s i'm forgive me late 90s introduced to the 24-hour fitness then we came to the early 2000s where they started incorporating some things and then i end up becoming a personal trainer for 24-hour fitness once upon a time and it was kind of interesting too soon as we got hired and this was actually when i met uh my brother Nas. um the last episode we talked about uh fatherhood or manhood restoring manhood this is where we had met we met in the orientation at 24 hour fitness and it was kind of interesting back then when you think about it so we both went to this orientation with 24 hour fitness and it was kind of interesting because we had a issue where soon as we got hired everything changed all the management and everything it was like right in the middle of when we was getting hired it was kind of crazy so they had changed the whole format of what, particularly what we was going to get hired on for as personal trainers. This is when they started incorporating more of the, the salesy, um, not really giving a fuck personal trainer. Let me, let, me, let me throw it to you like that. Because personal training has developed and has metamorphosized into, I don't know what it has become today when, when you're talking these big box gyms. You know, and, and many people can debate that and many people can agree with that. Those personal trainers who actually had the experience of being a trainer at one of these big box gyms. But 24 hour fitness is like one of the worst. <laughs> Literally one of the worst. And it's kind of interesting. As soon as I signed up with them via what, two weeks ago, I signed up with, uh, 24 hour fitness. What, three days later, I get a, a email talking about they apply or they <laughs> filed for bankruptcy. It's kind of interesting. No, a few weeks later, I'm sorry. A few weeks later, about a week later, they say they have filed for bankruptcy. Chapter 11. And, and so today I end up going. They open up the gym availability uh, June 19th. That was the opening day. So... I go there today, obviously it's June 23rd. I go there today, check it out, see what's up. It's not particularly the gym I was anticipating. I thought it'd be a lot more updated and had a few more toys up in there that we can work with. They had a lot of outdated, this is my personal opinion, but they had a lot of outdated equipment up in there that wasn't um, as, you know, what I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit better than that, but it wasn't that. So I'm kind of like, uh, ugh. so I'm going to be checking out some other gyms, other 24 hour fitness gyms around the, the city. Um, I know they got another one not too far from where I'm at, where I'm staying. So I'm going to definitely go check that out. But I just wanted to talk fitness a little bit, going up in there, kind of giving, giving a synopsis of what's going on, looking at checking out what, how people are getting down in the gym. A lot of people keeping that mask off, not necessarily keeping it off, but keeping it down off their face so they can breathe correctly. You know, that's what oxygen is for, for us to breathe, not to have a mask on, if that makes sense. Let's talk fitness, you know. A lot of the things 
people are doing and I didn't see that many people at the time I did go it was afternoonish so we're talking like one-ish uh, and it wasn't that many people in the gym and I know they have a certain capacity where they're allowed to have so many people in the gym but we we starting to know that we're starting to see these trends especially with these big box gyms a lot of people are not wanting to support them anymore that's why Planet Fitness and all these other little uh, no commitment gyms are blowing up because people are not committed let's let's keep it real with you <laughs> let's keep it real let's talk fitness and there's certain things that I think we don't pay attention to this is going to be a short podcast episode 41 hit me up I do got another one I'm going to be doing here today later on today but it's kind of been busy just kind of taking care of some errands today after I went to the gym because I definitely wanted to check the gym out see what was up on that so I could see how I need to navigate if I have to go to this other particular uh, facility not too far from here either I think it's on um, I don't want to screw the name up but <laughs> a lot of the my Hawaiian brothers and their uh, sisters um, terminology but uh much love, peace, and happiness. I get up with y'all. Stay happy. Stay true. Keep it real to yourself. I'm out.